enterobiasis is the topic and enterobiasis is essentially an intestinal infestation with a pinworm and that pinworm has a specific name it's enterobias vermicularis and this uh, is most common in uh, young kids but it can affect any age really now I wanted to talk a little bit about the pathophysiology of this basically it's transmitted from person to person and what happens really is that the person will get it from things that are essentially in your house so clothing um, furniture or even toilet seats now once the pinworm is inside the person inside the host the worm will actually live in the intestine in the small intestine to be uh, specific and then later it migrates down to the anus and when that happens I'd say within two to six weeks the pinworm will start to lay eggs and the more scientific term for that is ova and these ova are essentially going to be in the perianal region and because of that that is where the symptomatology occurs so what are the symptoms well you have by far the most common is perianal pruritus and this itching is particularly worse at night now when physical exam what you'll see because of this pruritus is a lot of scratch marks or excoriations uh, from the scratching that will be part of the way of dealing with this intense pruritus so if you have a child with these types of uh, uh, complaints and physical exam findings how would you go about diagnosing it well obviously you want to focus on the region that um, is causing this pruritus along with a little bit of the history will make you think of a pinworm so how do you actually identify the pinworm and the ova? It's a very unique and special test. You actually place a piece of cellophane tape on the perianal area. And then what you do is then you place the tape on a glass slide. and view it under a microscope. Now when you do that, that will show the ova and the worms. And the ova will essentially look like a oval with a curled up larva inside like that. And larva is just a immature worm and this of course being the ova and that will be seen on the uh, slide when you view it under a microscope treatment uh, classic uh, parasitic medications are mebendazole and albendazole and one final thing because reinfection is common prevention is a very important part uh, you need to instruct the patient to wash everything, all linens, clothes, um, anything that you feel could have been a source of infection, wash it uh, to prevent this reinfection from ever happening again. Now let's take a look at a few vignettes. Five-year-old girl is brought by her mother because of severe perianal itching for the past few days. Mother states that the itching is worse at night. She is generally healthy and has no other medical conditions. 
She is an active little girl and often goes to the playground during her day. Temperature is 37. Physical exam is normal. As soon as you have completed the exam, she has her hands down her pants. The mother yells at her to get her hands out of there because that is disgusting. The most appropriate next step in evaluating her symptoms should be. Well, I'm assuming this behavior is her going for, you know, a scratch. She's itching that region because there's it's so pruritic. So, although the, the vignette doesn't really tell you too much, there is enough uh, of a picture there for you to suspect some sort of perianal uh, infestation or infection. And if you really are trying to uh, detect those ova and those worms, then that is done with that tape test. And that would essentially be choice E, which is you tell the mother to put a piece of tape on the anal region and bring it back so they can put it under the microscope to detect it. Next question. Four-year-old boy has seen in your office with complaints of itching around the anus, which is especially severe at night and in the early morning. He has trouble sleeping at night. His parents have changed all the soaps and detergents in the house with no improvement in symptoms. The child is otherwise healthy and takes no meds, has no allergies. Physical exam is notable for a healthy appearing child with normal vital signs. There are some excoriations noted around the anus. Which of the following diagnostic maneuvers would you attempt? Well, again, the same kind of uh, question. And the answer is the same. You have to put the tape on the anal region and then look at, uh, look at it under a microscope. Okay, so you did that. A diagnostic test is performed and the following image is obtained. The image shows which of the following. Well, this is just asking the name of the pinworm and it's Enterobias vermicularis. And that's a picture of it, obviously. And finally, which of the following treatment regimens would you recommend? Albenza. Uh, is the brand name that I was always uh, familiar with and its uh, generic na name is albendazole and that would be choice B.